hello guys and welcome back after a really long time not saying hello to you guys so as you may know I'm kind of an impulsive buyer and that has taken me to come up to the next step that I have done recently which was selling my Dodge Challenger and buying something that's really different and stands out from the crowd so on this episode stay tuned guys because I'm gonna show you what is the car I bought have you ever had a dream that 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 you you what you can do from a dealer um, we actually got it with 52,000 miles and it's uh, a 2012 as I said so the thing is Raptors gen 1 Raptors nowadays supposedly have appreciated in value it could be from uh, anywhere from a hundred dollars over to a thousand dollars in appreciation so when I saw that I went ahead and uh, took the leap I already had a Raptor in mind but I didn't know I was gonna get a red Raptor so anyways, I took the leap to find the cheapest Raptor in Puerto Rico with the lowest miles on the odometer. So when I say this is the cheapest uh, Ford Raptor in Puerto Rico, I do not mean that it is the worst or in the worst conditions. This Ford Raptor actually has a really clean title, it has a clean history, and it's a one Carfax owner vehicle. So as you guys may know, this is the 6.2 liter V8 and it produces around 410 horsepower and 430 foot-pounds of torque. My truck, I was fortunate enough for the dealer to install brand new B of Goodrich tires, so I don't have to invest on that for a long time, even though these trucks tend to wear out their tires at around the 10,000 mile mark. This truck also has the optional added tonneau cover for the bed, which actually protects the cargo in case of rain or against any theft. Coming over to the inside of the truck, we have the basic interior. Uh, nothing has changed. We have the navigation, we have the Sony sound system. Uh, we have all of the options, the power seats, the leather seats, we have a sunroof, but there is something really peculiar that they added and it was the uh, LED, off-road LED lights mounted at the top of the truck. These LED lights are controlled by the auxiliary switches that are in the middle of the truck. As you can see, this is the cabin and a half truck. This is basically what I believe is the uh, Super Crew or the Super Cab. I'm not sure which one it is, but as you can see, we have the half doors on the back and it is also pretty spacious. We have the, we can lift those seats up and we have a lot of cargo space on the back of the truck. I picked this truck because I live an active lifestyle. I basically go to the beach, I take my dog everywhere, and I'm constantly up, running up and down with a lot of cargo in the back, so it basically fits my everyday needs. You know, you have the 6.2 liter V8 in front, which is plenty of power, which I also tuned by the way, but that's a different video. So from that V8, I get that beautiful exhaust note to remind me that I am in a truck I am driving a real beefy component of my life. Needless to say, I have some of the things I have to fix on this truck. 
I already took it to the dealer. They're gonna change the air compressor. They are going to change the, they're actually gonna add the rear bump stops which are missing. I checked the frame, it's not bent. Nobody jumped this truck. But I also have to change the front box shocks and those are not covered under warranty. And those are a staggering thousand dollars for the front pairs. I am also going to change the front seat, uh, basically the cover that goes over the cushion. Uh, it is pretty worn out. I think the person that used to have this truck did not take care of the leather seats as well as the steering wheel in which we can see that the guy actually held on to the steering wheel pretty tight and wore out the top area including the center stripe. Other than that, uh, the truck is pretty good. I mean, it has its flaws. It's a 2012 truck, but my goal is to actually fix her up and probably sell it in the future and get a newer truck. Okay guys, so this is a big leap for our channel. We have a lot of content coming in with this truck and I will also be hitting the trails with this truck. So that is a whole different video and a whole different set of videos that are coming up next on Speed to Garage. Okay guys, remember to subscribe, hit the like button and keep watching my videos so we can keep bringing you good content. Take care, Garage Gang.